Civilians also lost their lives. By some accounts, at least 21 people died. Now, these protests took place in opposition strongholds and were ostensibly about the high cost of living. There have been arrests, and yesterday we spoke to the president, Julius Madabio, who blamed the opposition and shadowy forces in the diaspora for the violence. Here is some of what he said. One of your ministers, the youth minister, was on CNN and he was laying the blame squarely on the opposition APC as the real cause of the protests, the ones pulling the strings. Do you support that view? I have said earlier that there is a political undertone to what is happening. It was not a protest, as you can see. Uh, five people were killed, hacked to death in the crudest of ways. But the, the opposition party, the APC, people. has said that they have had nothing to do with this. That, that is what they would normally say, but all, almost all of those involved are from the, the party. Now, Alfred Peter Conte is a member of a court-appointed interim committee that is running the affairs of the opposition All People's Congress. What's his response to President Madabio's accusation? It's a political situation, according to them. So the first thing you do is blame the opposition. But I would like to let the world know that the All People's Congress Party is not involved in anything and has nothing to do with that strike or what you call protest. And the demonstrations, they have been happening in your party strongholds only. The demonstration happened in Freetown and Freetown is part of the Western region and it happens to be the capital city. And it's also a stronghold of the All People's Congress Party. But that does not tie the protest to our party. Why People not? It, 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 seem, it seems quite clear. If the protest had to do with anything like, for instance, the high cost of living, general dissatisfaction with other issues, it would have spread across the country. It didn't. It spread to areas that are your party's strongholds, Makeni, etc., Kamakwe, and so on. So who do you blame for the disturbances, and why do you think that it's only happening in your areas? Well, to be honest with you, we've been echoing certain developments within the All People's Congress Party, in which some elements of the party feel as though the party belongs to them. And some of them were parading around with self-proclaimed title as major stakeholders. So when I say the APC, I'm talking of my administration so there the is All People's Congress. So there is room then for people to feel and believe with justification that elements within the APC are responsible for the disturbances. And let's be well, let's let let's let's be frank for the brutal killing of at least five police men and women. I want to say this one more time. It is really pathetic. And I want to express my condolences to those who lost their lives. But I want to let the world know that the actions of few does not represent the All People's Congress Party. So I want to also join the ECOWAS and the government to make sure the people behind it, the sponsors, the people who perpetrated these actions, brought to justice. There are also people, which the president mentioned as well, that are in the diaspora that are inciting. Do you condemn those kinds of people that are doing this? Um, I condemn them categorically and I believe if there's a way to bring them to justice, they also must be brought to justice. So the political temperature is very high at the moment in the country and the tensions really need to be eased. Would you, as the APC, be prepared to be involved in a political dialogue with the government, with the, the SLPP and with uh, civil society organizations to actually find real solutions to the issues that face Sierra Leoneans, the high cost of living, joblessness, desperation? Definitely. I mean, the All People's Congress Party is a peaceful party, and we're looking to join any group or any dialogue to foster peace in the Republic of Sierra Leone. Now, the APC was in government before. Does your party accept responsibility for the dire state of the economy in Sierra Leone? There are people within the country that say you left the economy in a very big mess when you lost power in 2018. There's no way we can assume those responsibilities. Why not? Uh, there's a reason people run for office. 
in his promises that he made, the current president, he promised to fix it. But I can tell you for the fact that where we left the country four years ago is 10 times better than where the country is today. So to come in after four years and still blame it on the previous administration is just a clear characteristic of failure. If you took over office, it's your job to fix it. And since they took over, nothing has been right for the people, economically speaking, and for every sector in government, it's been worse. So that's not an excuse. Four years, you should have done something that people should appreciate and want to endorse you for another five years. And that was Alfred Peter Conte from the APC in Sierra Leone. Now, yesterday we put words in the mouth of the youth minister, Mohamed Orman Bangura, when we interviewed President Madabil. We said that he had said that the president was missing in action during an interview with CNN. That's not true. He didn't say that. We got it wrong, and we apologize for the inaccuracy. And now, with a roundup of stories making news elsewhere in Africa, as the time approaches 1517, uh, let's hear from Victor Silva. Thanks, Henry. It's a